how good did this feel coming back here and uh, dominating? Felt really good. I mean, uh, uh, I was upset about what happened last year. We got beat here, and uh, uh, Antoine Young had, hasn't won here in his career, so it feels good to get one for him. And uh, I thought we just played a really unselfish game. And, um, I always like coming back to Iowa. Uh, it just brings back a lot of memories. We played a lot, we played a lot here in high school as well as Wells Fargo, so it feels good getting wins in Iowa. Hey, Doug, Jake from the Ames Tribune. You opened up your uh, senior season here, I guess. What do you remember of uh, that game? Yeah, I mean, I just remember uh, running out. I just felt like I was in high school again, so it felt kind of cool uh, coming out here again. And I remember uh, playing, I think it was Kirkendale <coughs> here, my uh, first game of my senior year. So I uh, uh, always can remember those times, but it's time to move on. And, Feels really good to get a win here. It's a good Drake team. Doug, when Drake made a run late and made this thing real close, you just seemed to keep finding yourself in a, in a prime spot for an easy basket. Let's talk about uh, how you sealed the deal there at the end. Uh, I mean, uh, teammates just did a really good job of finding me there. Uh, I was just getting good positions uh, on their on their guards actually because they're switching on to me. So I had to take advantage of that and uh, got to the free throw line. So I mean, if they're going to do that, we've got to make them pay. As well as Rice was feeling that. The, as well as Rice was playing, did that kind of elevate your game? You know, it was kind of a, it seemed like it was kind of a duel between you guys for a while. I mean, not really. I mean, I don't really focus on uh, who's killing for them, and I'm not trying to do my own thing. But uh, I mean, Ray Vonta is a really good player, and uh, he's he's gonna have a really good future in this league. And uh, like I said, my teammates did a good job of finding me. Jahan stepped up big time tonight for us, so it's good to see him getting back hitting threes. Jahan, I guess being uh, Doug's roommate, how do you think he's uh, handled uh, all the you know, excitement around his game this year? Uh, well, he's definitely done a better job than I would have if I was in a situation. Uh, I mean, student sections, day in, day out, they attack him. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's a bigger man than I, but he takes it well. He continues to produce. And uh, obviously, I'm, we're all very proud of him and uh, how he's accomplished and what he's accomplished this year so far. Doug, what's it like for you when the students are kind of trying to get in your head? Does that get to you at all? Or how do you block it off? Uh, not really. I mean, it's just kind of a joke now because Everyone hits me with the daddy's boy chant. They think they're the first ones to do it. So I just kind of laugh that one off. But uh, they, they got a really good student section. Got to give them a lot of got, got to give them a lot of love. They did a good job. But uh, I mean, it just feels good getting a win on the road. Okay. What are your thoughts on uh, Will Artino um, coming in and playing some big minutes? Uh, oh, yeah. right at right near his, his hometown. Boy. Yeah, he was huge tonight. Uh, I mean, he made some really good passes there late in the game, and he's uh, continued to produce for us. And, uh, we got to keep him uh, doing that. I think uh, he's going to be a really good player as well. And you're in the two big threes in that uh, stretch. It really seemed to quiet the crowd and get you guys back in control. Just how big were those shots for you and, and how good did they be? Um, it's always fun to kind of just hear the crowd just go into a silence um, after he knocked on a pretty big shot. Uh, I think Doug was getting a lot of attention inside, so it forced our uh, weak side up to just defend him a little bit closer and Grant and Twan and um, Austin did a good job fighting on the weak side for those skip passes, and uh, I was pretty open, and I felt pretty comfortable shooting the shot, so I just kind of let it fly tonight, so it, it felt pretty good. How big is this win for you guys? Uh, it's huge. Again, uh, Doug mentioned it before. Uh, we lost here last year. It's something that's been ingrained in our memory uh, throughout the whole off season. Uh, whenever we're running and we're just a little bit tired, we think about all the places that we've lost, either uh, close games too, or we've lost on the road, so uh, it feels good to just kind of come back. Uh, and play well on the road, especially in the Valley competition. Two more for these guys. I guess on the road, uh, do you guys feel there's a lot more pressure this year with you guys being ranked and kind of getting some attention? Uh, I think we're having a lot of fun with it. I mean, uh, our preparation, uh, not, so, not necessarily uh, different from last year as far as what we do to prepare, but I think our focus is there a lot more this year. And uh, we're just having a lot of fun with it. Again, student sections attacking certain individuals. Uh, <laughs> And just kind of, kind of having the world against us mentality uh, feels good to go on the road and, and win and continue to play well. Talk about having Jake sign. You know what? You got kudos to him because he never really got tired. Uh, he was running a bunch of off a bunch of double screens down low. They were trying to free him up, obviously, because he played pretty well in the first half. Uh, and uh, coach just told me to just uh, stay behind him and, and chase him as hard as I can. So uh, I just did what I the best I could in that situation, and uh, it turned out pretty good for us. So I'm really happy to, uh, that we were able to kind of slow him down a little bit for, for a long stretch there in the second half.